A Valley woman makes a pretty disgusting discovery while eating a pickle on Monday. Just after biting into the dill pickle, she found a worm burrowing inside of it. Fox 10's Mark Martinez is live with the story. I'm not sure I want to hear this because I like Appetizing. to eat pickles. Yeah. yeah, right around dinner time too, right? Uh, this is not what you expect when you uh, buy a jar of pickles. Now, luckily, she didn't actually eat that worm, but she came very, very close. And she says she immediately became sick to her stomach when she saw it. The company has since apologized to her via email, offered her coupons for future purchases. And tonight, what she wants to do is to warn others to take a bit of a closer look at your food before you eat it. When Bria Gray grabbed a Vlasic pickle from the refrigerator for an afternoon snack Monday, she knew pretty quickly something was off. After a couple bites, I tasted something funny and it was chewy and it spit it out and it was colored different. When she looked closely at the pickle, she immediately felt sick to her stomach. I looked down and that's when I seen the worm in the tunnel and oh my gosh. That's right, there was a worm burrowing in the middle of the pickle. At first I was so shocked and you know, I didn't know how to react. My sister was um, taking a nap next to me and I threw down a pickle and I immediately told her and I screamed and I ran to the restroom. We wanted to know if there was more than one worm in there, so we sliced the pickle in half and there was just that one big worm in there and we just like grossed out and it was just disgusting. After we examined it, um, the top of its head, she just barely missed eating that worm. Oh my gosh, like. It was just so gross. I mean, I was so sick that evening and night, and I don't know. Will you ever eat pickles again? No, never. Yeah, in the email to Bria, the parent company of Vlasic says fruits and vegetables are subject to all the trials of nature where they're grown, including insects. They say they go to great lengths to make sure that they don't end up in their products, but as we saw in Bria's case, it's not always foolproof. Reporting live, Mark Martinez, Fox 10 News.